we want to factor the given expressions completely. It's important to remember the first step in factoring is always to look for the greatest common factor. So for the first expression, 2x cubed minus 50x, we should not start by looking for a difference of squares or a difference of cubes. We should start by looking for the greatest common factor between 2x cubed and 50x. And the greatest common factor between the two terms is 2x. So if it's helpful, we can write each term as a product involving 2x. We can write 2x cubed as 2x times x squared minus, we can write 50x as 2x times 25. This step is optional, but notice how it does show the greatest common factor of 2x, and it also shows what's left after we factor out the greatest common factor of 2x. So factoring out 2x, we can see we're left with x squared minus 25. From here, we should recognize the expression will factor further because x squared minus 25 is a difference of squares. So factoring further, we have a factor of 2x, and then we'll have two binomial factors. The factors of x squared are x and x. The factors of 25 are five and five, and because we have a difference of squares, one factor is x plus five, and the other is x minus five. And now we have the expression factored completely. And now for the second example, we have three x cubed plus nine x squared minus 84 x. Again, the first step should be to identify the greatest common factor. The greatest common factor among all three terms is three x. So let's go ahead and write each term as a product involving three x. Three x cubed is equal to three x times x squared plus nine x squared is equal to three x times three x minus 84x is equal to 3x times 28. Now we can see the greatest common factor of 3x, and therefore the next step is to factor out the greatest common factor of 3x. And we can also see what's left after we factor out 3x. Factoring out 3x gives us 3x times the quantity x squared plus 3x minus 28. Notice inside the parentheses, we now have a trinomial with a leading coefficient of one, which means the trinomial inside the parentheses will factor further if it can find the factors of C, or in this case, the factors of negative 28 that add to B, which in this case is positive three. So if the trinomial does factor further, it will factor into two binomial factors. The factors of x squared are x and x, the second terms again will be the factors of negative 28 that add to positive three. So let's consider the factors of negative seven and positive four, as well as the factors of negative four and positive seven. Let's see which of these factors have a sum of positive three. Well, negative seven plus four is equal to negative three. So negative seven and positive four are not the factors we are looking for. But notice negative four plus seven is positive three. So the two factors we are looking for are negative four and positive seven, which means one of the binomial factors is x minus four, and the other is x plus seven. And remember the order of the binomial factors doesn't matter. And now we have the trinomial factored completely. I hope you found this helpful.